organ first. The slide is named Hyaline Pulmonary Membranes. So what do we see here? Is merely the lung. Merely pulmonary tissue, which is with quite closed alveolar openings. As far as you can see here, there is a bronchial epithelium by the form of respiratory one. But the alveoli are not opened on multiple places. They are completely closed, actually. They are looking thickened. They are filled with... Yeah, they're pretty much looking thickened. There is also an eosinophilic deposition, which is quite next to the uh, alveolar septi, and it's majorly appearing in most of the alveolar spaces, along with squamae, which are filling inside the alveolar spaces, which are partially open, almost closed. And these, yeah, pinkish formations are well observable here. You can see them right next to the alveolar walls. And they could be observed from multiple places. There is also stasis of blood here, which we can observe in multiple vessels. Hemosterin ladens, which are quite next to the vessels. And lack of alveolar openings on most of the places. Diffusely, the pulmonary parenchyma appears to be thicker. With lack of air openings on multiple places. So this fibrinous, because it's actually eosinophilic and it could be tested that it's fibrin deposition, which was the staining for fibrin, which we mentioned in practice. Remind me of it. Great. So, tested by PTAH, it could be completely positive. So, on the opposite that they're called hyaline pulmonary membranes, those are actually fibrin depositions, which are appearing to be inside in the, uh, next to the alveolar septi, inside in the alveoli. Can you suggest what led to this process? It appears to be that those are small alveoli, quite immature, quite actually not no, any antricotic pigment inside, which means that this person has not lived and inhaled the polluted air that we inhale every day. And also, there's multiple places with stasis of blood closed, almost closed bronchial spaces. You can see how they perform as if they had been smashed. They have never been opened, they have never engulfed air and inhaled air. Some hyaline cartilage. This appears to be the lung of a baby. Can you suggest what happened here in order to lead to these changes inside? Yes, that is acute respiratory distress syndrome in children. It actually leads to a process of uh, stasis of blood, escape of fibrinogen, turning of it to fibrin, which covers the inner part of the lungs and the inner part of the actually septi of the alveoli with these eosinophilic ribbons, if you will. And they are merely everywhere. You can see how they're covering the inner part of the lungs. How do we test for this type of change? Do we have a gross probe that we perform on these children 
when they come for an autopsy. Did we discuss this on practicals? We put the lungs into jar filled with water. And if they float on the surface, it means that they have worked for a part, short part of time and they had been filled with air. And if they haven't worked and they had been covered on the inside by highly membranes or the child has uh, in inhaled uh, it or aspirated fluid from the amnion, amniotic fluid, then those will never float on the surface of the water, they will sink. So that is how we test the lungs of children when, when, when they come for an autopsy of babies, majorly, when they come for an autopsy. So is this one clear? Should continue further now. There 